guys, Brendan here. So I know that usually on Fridays we do Fact Friday videos, but I have noticed that they are not as interesting as some of my other videos recently and that, you know, they could improve. So I'm going to be working on making Fact Fridays better. I know that the facts and information uh, you guys enjoy, but the presentation could be a little better. So I'm going to be working on that. So for today, I saw do something fun and go do a gecko tier list that I found online. So that should be fun. Time to embarrass myself and forget the names of like all the geckos, even though I'm a gecko channel. So <laughs> let's uh, let's get into that. Thanks, guys. First off, I see what kind of gecko is that? The little orange banded one. I don't know what this is, but I do think it's cute. Put in B tier, just because I don't know what it is. This one down here looks like some sort of small gecko. Maybe it's like a, it's not a morning gecko, is it? It's not a morning gecko. Maybe it is. I wish I had like a bigger zoomed in version of this. I'm just gonna say that that is a morning gecko. Even though it's probably not. And then I'm gonna put that in C tier. Now I love morning geckos, I keep them myself, but they're not great for handling and they're small and they can be kind of expensive. So as far as a pet gecko, they're not great. But I do like them though. <laughs> um, this is a banded gecko, pretty sure. And I don't, I've never kept one as a pet, so I'm gonna put that in C tier as well. Okay. This is a leaf tail gecko. Because of the eyes, I would like to say. Leaf tail geckos are pretty cool. They're not great for pets, from what I've heard, but I'll put them in B tier. That, I'm assuming, is just a leopard gecko, right? Yeah, this is a leopard gecko. That's gonna be S tier. I have to, because leopard geckos are amazing. <laughs> I mean, leopard geckos, in my opinion, are the best pet, re uh, pet not pet reptile, I'm not going to reptiles, um, best pet <laughs> gecko. So definitely gonna put them in S tier. Um, this is a, it's not a Pictus gecko, is it? No, it's one of those like little BDI cute ones. I can't remember its name. They're adorable though. Um, that's, I like them, I think they're cute, A tier. All right, um, this is a day gecko of some sort, I believe. Don't know what kind of day gecko it is, but it is. A, it looks like a day gecko. I like day geckos, but I'll put it in B tier because I don't think they're... This is a giant day gecko. I know exactly what this is. This is a giant day gecko. Um, I'll put it in B tier as well, just because they're not terrible, but I'm not personally a fan of them. I'm gonna stick the neon day gecko in the same in C tier. I know that's mean. I know I've said I've liked micro, micro geckos before, so this video may seem super contradictory, but they don't make the best pets. I mean, by lat logic, I can probably put all of these guys in C tier as well, because they're not great pets. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put this dude down here, this dude down here. I mean, giant day geckos make good pets. And put, I think that's a leaf gecko. Just based off the eyes, I'm pretty sure that's a leaf gecko. And then this guy is cute. I wanna leave him in A tier, because he's adorable. I'll put him in B tier. I'll put all the cute ones in B tier. Yeah, that one's the most adorable. He get he stays in B tier. All right, um, this is a satanic leaf tail gecko. I know that because they're just iconic based off the tail. Um, what the hell is this little dude then? Okay, now I'm gonna put the satanic satanic leaf tail just for cool factor. Goes in A tier. He's not the greatest like pet gecko, but they're cool looking. It's my opinion. Don't judge me. All right, Toke geckos. I'm sorry. Straight to D tier. I mean, I love toke geckos as far as their appearance. And I've said before that if I were to pick a gecko based off coloration, I'd pick a toke gecko because I love blue. I know the channel colors don't really show that, but I do love blue, it's my favorite color. I would pick a toke just off the colors and the fact that it says toke, it's like a little Pokemon gecko. It's cute and I love Pokemon. So I'm just like, hmm, but they're angry little beast. And for that reason alone, I put them in D tier. Um, I don't know what that is. This one kind of looks like a duck. It's kind of hard to see. It does, it looks like a duck. I don't know, I'm gonna put that in 
C tier, just because I don't know what it is. Um, this is a Crested Gecko. Crested Geckos are awesome. So that's definitely going to be in S tier as well. Mm, honestly, though, they drop their tail and they don't grow it back. So that's A tier. They're still really great geckos. I just like leopard geckos a little more. Um, this is a gargoyle gecko and they drop their tails and they do grow them back. So that's S tier in my opinion. In my opinion, a gargoyle gecko is like a slightly better crested gecko. Sorry, crested gecko fans. I, I just love crest. I mean, maybe I'm biased because I have a gargoyle gecko, but... <laughs> Um, this little white thing, what is this? Is that a morning kick? No, no it's not. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna put that in C tier. I'm gonna break up the C tier a little more, I promise. Um, this is, I believe, a Chihua. No, this is a Lichianus because of the eyes. Um, I'd put a Lichianus in B tier. I mean, they're everybody's like dream gecko, but in my opinion, I don't think they're they're as cool as like the S and A tier geckos. I don't. They're pretty cool, but I don't think they take that that cake. Just because they're huge and huge geckos are a pain in the butt. Um. Okay, it leaves these guys. This is a Chinese cave gecko. I'm pretty sure, just based off the eyes. Um, I would put that in A tier. I put them right up there, satanic leaf tail geckos, just for cool factor. Yeah, I like that. Also, they make good pets from what I've heard. Like, they have leopard gecko qualities. Just obviously different care environments, but they have, um, they, they're they not, like, too difficult to handle. They're not bitey, so. I don't know. I've been thinking about getting one for myself. I think they're cool. Put that in A tier. Um, what the hell is this one called? I've seen this little tiny dude a million times. I can never remember its name. I know that it's cute, and I put him as cute as the other one. Which, I think that's a knobtail gecko, I can't be certain. I don't know, it's probably not a knobtail. But I'm gonna put both these little dudes um, next to each other. And this one, I have no idea what the hell it is, so I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's cool looking, but I don't know what it is. Alright, that's gonna, that's gonna wrap it up. So in S tier, we got the leopard gecko and the gargoyle gecko. In A tier, we got the satanic leaf tail, we got the crusty, and we got a Chinese cave gecko. In B tier, we got, I know the name of this thing, but I always forget it. Um, we got a, what I believe is a Lichianus. And then we have the other one that I know the name of because it's adorable, but I always forget it. Um, C tier, we have some sort of micro gecko. I think it's a morning gecko, but I can't be sure. Um, this, I believe is a banded gecko. That's a neon day gecko. That is a something gecko, I can't remember. Um, that's a giant day gecko. That I also believe is a day gecko, but I could be wrong. That I also think is just a, um, a leaf tail gecko of some sort, but I can't remember the species name. That looks like a duck. Ducks are cool. That I don't know. That I don't know. That's a Toke. And Toke, I'm sorry, Toke fans, they, they stay in D tier. <laughs> they don't make great pets. Uh, anything that screams at you when you open up the enclosure is not a great pet in my opinion, but I don't know. Maybe I'll have a good interaction with a Toke that will change my mind someday. But thank you guys for watching. This is Brendan and... New Fact Friday videos coming soon, I guess.